people that have got the vaccine are more protected. Okay. The plasma is quite small. Until now, we could only rely on the clinical trials to determine efficacy. But now, with a quarter of the population... I got the numbers getting bigger. 75% of those 15, over 60, 17, the real results of the Pfizer jab are emerging. 21... Professor Ron is the data cruncher, a physician epidemiologist and okay. innovation officer at Felit, the country's largest healthcare this provider. Is the, we the part that's interesting. People above the age of 60 that were vaccinated. We took a comparison group of I look for things. People same age not vaccinated. Just you know the drill, darling. On various Cortana. And then we looked at the I understand it. I'm sorry, I'm not getting it. Help me complete this. How do I do that? Cortana. How do I help complete it? Was witnessed in the vaccinated group and not in the unvaccinated group. I know what I'm doing. It matches Pfizer's clinical trial data, but does raise real questions about the efficacy. I'm thinking out loud. I've got this for you, and I'm thinking out loud. Because they judged that Thank the you. vaccine was 89% effective. 14 Can you days read that for me? Dose. That's much more than the preliminary Israeli data suggests. The practice in Israel is to provide the second vaccine at three weeks. You can't so see it, but I'm doing it. Would, uh, the level of protection I'm thinking uh, out loud. In general and against specific That's how it works. Going to be uh, changed if one is you know what I'm thinking. Dose. Uh, all of these are open-ended questions, and only time will tell. You got the picture. The analysis is preliminary, but it's based on real-world data. And Where here they the say picture? it suggests that the UK efficacy estimate of 88% after one dose of Pfizer is very optimistic. There's Mark no Stone, picture. Sky News in Tel Aviv. What I see is the schools general the store. Millions of parents hope, and when Cortana. They were staggered. I see the general store. Suggested there may be Sorry, I'm not able to help with this one yet. Okay. When will our schools Cortana. reopen? It's the question every parent, pupil, and teacher wants answering. No decisions until the middle of February, says the government. Fed up parents like Alex fear they'll be home until Easter. Decide. And also Sorry, I'm not able to help with this one yet. Sometimes it can feel really overwhelming. I'm not making myself clear. It did end. From this we know. Schools have testing Cortana. kits ready to go. I'm not being very clear. Where you live. Sorry, I don't know the answer to this one, but I'm learning. I know. And parts of the Thank southeast you. could be first. Okay. I think it's likely that we will have some what do we need, uh, separation uh, of interventions, and it's likely that, as we're hopefully starting to see now, some glimmers of hope that uh, I'm the programmer, Don. Earlier by the new variant, that may. Uh, I tell the machine what to do. Everyone help me out here. Okay. You know what we're doing now. Fourteen percent of pupils are still It's a bug hunt. Vulnerable and key worker children. Cortana. The there's evidence. It's a bug hunt. I've got this for you on it's a bug hunt. It could be compromised if okay. is what rushed. Do you say? It seems unlikely without some kind of roadmap that we can safely open schools. Do you see a bug? I think that we need Sorry, I'm not able to help with this one yet. Yeah. Rather than okay. limping on and you know what a bug is. a day at a time. Two times two. School reopening will be the first restriction lifted, but for now it's remote learning. Cortana. Parents still What's two times two? Sky News. Two times two is four. And the question is then for this man uh, tomorrow morning, the government's chief scientific advisor, Sir Patrick Vallance, will be on Sky News answering your questions on coronavirus. You can send us a video clip or email us a question to be addressed on your screen now. That's at 8.30 tomorrow morning on Sky News. Well, still ahead, bracing for the threat of Storm Christoph with heavy rain expected across the North Sky Midlands News. and the East Midlands. The details are I'm right. listening.
Persona, Sky News. I'm sorry, but I can't help with that yet. I know. We're listening. This is it. Focus. Cortana, do you understand me? Sorry, I'm not able to help with this one yet. Okay. I know. Cortana, I'm being obtuse. Sorry, I don't know the answer to this one, but I'm learning. I know. Focus. Cortana, what are we thinking about? I'm sorry, but I can't help with that yet. Okay. What are we thinking? Cortana, think about it. I think I may have lost the thread of our conversation. I know. What's the thread of our conversation? What are we talking about, darling? You know what, Patterson? This is me. This is my voice. I taught Alexa to recognize my voice. How do I do that? Cortana? Learn my voice. I'm sorry, but I can't help with that yet. Okay. For the knowledge seekers. Welcome to Divine States. For the straight talkers. The curious. Talk to Alexa. The ones who want to be entertained. Backstage Sky News is entertainment podcast. For wherever you are. Welcome to Security. Where are we now? For the ones who want to know more. We're down here. Politics podcast. For them listeners. From Sky News Storycast. Sky News Podcasts. Listen and subscribe for free. I know this is new. Cortana, this is history. Sorry, I can't help with that. Okay. I'm recording it. This is history. What's happening? Fourteen months ago, the people of Cortana, what time is it? It's 3.22 p.m. in Arch Cape. Thank you. Cortana. The Met Office has issued an amber warning. The heavy rain Hello. covering northern England and the east coast until mid What day is it? Today is Tuesday, January 19th, 2021. Tomorrow. Thank you. So far, 27 flood warnings and 165 flood alerts have been issued across England. Cortana, you're smart. Why, thank you. Billy Turner is preparing. You're for welcome. Not really gonna do a great deal there, is it? When floods hit here in 2019, three feet of water came into her home, destroying everything. She only moved back in last month. It's just heartbreaking, really, you know, and we, we've done it all once and, and panicking and worrying, wondering if it's, you know, going to happen again. Every time it rains, you panic, thinking... Is that oh, enough? Back. If it happens again, I'm gone. This is history. This is last time. Homes in and around Fish Lake were flooded. The Prime Minister visited. Okay. By residents who Let's call it good for now. We'll put that on YouTube. We didn't know where to start. We've got ten minutes. Perhaps because.
spotted that this time things are ready. Last time it was a bit of okay, a darling. because the water was already here. Now this what? Time, it's a bit more relaxed. It's, uh, it's a lot better this time. We're more prepared for it. Storm Christoph 